Hello, everyone. Are you ready to get started? Okay. Today, I'd like to continue our discussion of violence in the media by focusing on television, on TV violence and its impact on children. First, I'll discuss how much violence is on TV, and then we'll talk about the impact of TV violence on children. There's a lot of debate about this issue today because children watch a lot of TV, right? TV has a huge impact on children. Kids today watch a lot of TV. In the U.S., almost all families have a TV, 98%. Many families have more than one TV. 52% of children have televisions in their bedrooms so they can watch TV whenever they want. And how much TV does the average child watch each day? Can anyone guess? Two hours? Okay, that's one guess. Anyone else? Four? Yes, it's about, about three to four hours of TV every day, or almost 1,500 hours a year. Now compare that to the amount of time that kids spend in school each year, about 900 hours, and you can see that TV must have a big impact. Now, many people feel that children's shows, such as cartoons, are much too violent. Some people even feel that the violence on television is teaching kids to be more violent. But is this true? Is there a link between the violence children see on TV and real violence? To answer this question, I want to focus on some of the research, research that has been done to assess the violence on television and how it affects children. To assess how much violence is on TV, Research has focused on counting the number of acts of violence on TV in an average day. Now, this includes any act that could hurt or kill people in real life. Surprisingly, cartoons for children have the most violence, more than many shows for adults. Cartoons have an average of 32 violent acts per hour. So, 32 times every hour, one cartoon character hurts another character in some way. Well, you've seen this in cartoons, I'm sure. The characters hit each other on the head or shoot each other. Many different violent acts. Other kids' shows have a lot of violence as well. For example, many kids' shows have characters that fight each other, hit and kick and punch each other, so those are very violent as well. So, by counting all these acts of violence, we can estimate that by the time a child is 12, he or she will have seen an average of about 100,000 acts of violence on television. That's about 30 violent acts per day. But does the violence really cause children to act more violently? Well, that leads us to our second question. How do we assess the impact of TV violence on children? First, we'll focus on some immediate effects of watching TV violence. What happens immediately after a child watches something violent on TV? In the first study we'll look at today, a group of children saw a TV show of a child hitting and kicking a doll. Then after they watched the video, each child was left alone in a room with the same type of doll. And guess what? All the children in this study 100% hit and kicked the doll, just like they saw on TV. So, the link here between what kids see and what they do seems quite strong. Another way to assess the effects of TV violence on children is to focus on the long-term effects. What happens many years after a child watches violent TV? Now let's talk about the second study. In 1960, researchers studied 8-year-old children in a typical American city. They studied how much violent TV the children watched and whether the children acted violently at home or at school. Then, 10 years later, they studied the same children at age 18. The researchers found that children who watched a lot of violent TV at age 8 were more violent at age 18. Children who watched less violent TV were less violent at age 18. So, this study suggests that there is a link between TV violence and real violence that watching violent TV has long-term impact on these kids. So, do these studies prove that TV violence causes children to be violent? 
Even with the research, many people still disagree about that. So when we come back, we'll talk more about the impact of TV violence and the...